Good evening, Captain and friends. Once upon a time, I forgot the motorcycle model in my workspace. I worked on it about many years ago, in order to replenish my portfolio and assess the level of my skills. If you want to use it in your project, you're welcome. You have easily found it somewhere on the internet. And so, I had an idea to make a constructor, a model for assembly on the 12th scale. And this means we will have to revise the entire geometry and adapt it to the hobby assembly. Divide it into parts, add grooves and thickness to scale requirement, simplify something and remove something, draw instructions so that everything would be logical and convenient for us to interact with it all, and eventually get a wonderful scale model motorcycle on your showcase. There's one catch. I have already done all this last year, and all the recordings were lost, cause I didn't shoot it. So it remains for a small matter. To print and glue. It sounds pretty simple. In a series of these videos, I will, or better yet, we will print and assemble the model. After each release, I will publish STL files and additional materials on my Boost account. So follow the progress of the work and subscribe there, here, and everywhere. Let's get going! I divided this event by colors into several stages. Today we are going to do this green one, stage number one, the motor. The first thing we need is to build support. The most convenient way to do this is to use cheat box, an excellent, pleasant and intuitive slicer. I will not use automatic placement, I will make the supports myself, so it will be easy for me and you to remove them later and will be much more aesthetically pleasing. In the cheddar book there is one small problem. In some cases I just need to put a support resting not on the table, but inside, from the model itself, as in this case. I have not found whether this option is here. If suddenly you know how to do it, then I ask you to tell me a secret. Unfortunately, I have to do this in workshop from any cubic. As you can see here, this option works fine. It's a pity that otherwise the workshop is not so friendly. For example, the Ctrl Z function is simply missing. You have to be more careful. Also, already in 3ds Max, I will replace the platform with a more presentable one and index every detail. We will slicing for printer any cubic mono X with an exposure time of one and a half seconds. The resin used is standard great echo from any cubic, preheated carefully on a home heating radiator. We pour the liquid, drop the files into the printer and go to drink tea. Suddenly the machine refuses to see my files. We take a white flash driver, update the firmware and now we are definitely going to drink tea. 2 hour, 5 minutes. A lot of tea. A saved file from the workshop, since the shitbox shows the time 1.48 and the printer worked twice as long. Why? I don't know. Everything went well. And now let's take away from the printer what rightfully belonged to us.
For primary washing I use isopropyl alcohol, a sealed food container and the mechanics of the human body. The force emanating from the shoulder and the ending in the hand at the fingertips. Like this, like this and like this. For secondary washing I use already more modern technologies of our civilization. Carefully remove the products from the, our first cocktail, we will immerse it in an ultrasonic sink and pour the same alcohol. It's washed for about 5-10 minutes without heating. We listen and observe the hypnotic effect in a vibration saucepan. Putting things in order, we extract the grey pieces and we move on to the next test for our liquid in a solid state. We are sending all this in trash can. No, it's alright, everything worked out. Everything is according to plan. This is a medical engineering subject from the DIY. LED UV tape and mirror tape. This is a unique item, an object created with a soul. We load the parts into the oven and wait for about 5 minutes. And now our dish is ready. You can start the aesthetic devouring with your eyes for defects in our details. It will be interesting to measure the total weight. In fact, it turned out to be 25.7 grams. The slicer showed us 18.3 grams. Most likely this means that the extra 7 grams got stuck somewhere on the support platform and so the shell of the parts. It was visible when we disconnected the parts. The platform stuck together a little. When assembling, we will see if there is an error. If the groove of the parts are connected with difficulty, then we need to set the exposure time even less. But there is no less. In this case, everything will just fall off or increase the distance in the grooves. Now we will release the parts from the supports. We will need for this wire cutters, glasses, because pieces of plastic can bounce into the eye, nail file for grinding and dusting brush. I also have a visual instruction, how and where, what and what connects, the sheet on which we will lay out the release pair parts, so it's not to lose which number they were assigned to. Binding of the supports is trivial and intuitive. 
just bite off the bottleneck of the connection until the part falls off. Of course, I do not recommend roughly tearing off the entire platform at once. In this case, there will be holes at the junction points, and some parts may break. Next, we align the connection points. It's pretty simple. You feel it's not smooth? Make it smooth and move on to the next one. Here, one of the valve covers decided not to be printed. There was a separation of support, and the corner is missing. Maybe on the fab film there was a spot in this place. As you can see, everything is in perfect order with the other lid. With houses, you need to be very careful not to break off a piece of the part. Bite off the thin support at second or third edge, and then from the last edge. Don't worry, it seems to me I have added enough thickness, at which it is no longer in a hurry up to break easily. Great, it turned out. Now you can breathe easy. Alternatively, you can bite them off before drying while the model is soft. It's much better to use elastic resin. I have here a variant of the tough resin from Anycubic. Let's compress the plastic with our standard echo. I printed out the same rods with a diameter of 1 millimeter. 
Let's make the simplest bending test. The resin tough is not a bad surprise. The standard one, of course, breaks easily. Even at very small distance, the tough resin still holds, but retains the shape of the bend. Moving on, it remains to release and clean only the carburetors. Let's look at the way, without support. I want to know how many useful grams we have left. A total of 13.9 grams and 11.8 grams, which the most health is sent to the trash. What is next? Well, finally let's move on to the assembly. For fixing, I use Sinoar Acrylate glue. In other words, super glue. Nothing also is able to fasten the resin. And we must remember that we have no right to make a mistake. Some parts are connected by grooves and hold up well even without glue. For other parts it took a couple of drop of glue. Despite the fact that I made the standard distance in the grooves from 0.15 to 0.2 mm in all parts, they still differ after printing, plus minus a few microns, and it depends on whether the part will easily fit in the groove or not. If you set the exposure time when printing for 2 seconds, then parts with such grooves will have to be filed. The only advantage in this is that we do not use glue. However, the detail will gain in completeness and they will not correspond to the digital model. It is not necessary to pour much glue around the perimeter of the part. A couple of drops will be enough. The valve cover from my previous test models fit easily. As you can see on the leads, I decided to save glue. Now it is important not to confuse the heads, the left with the right. It would be good to glue the valves too. You can see that the cylinder heads are a little wobbly because of this. Before gluing the starter, I advise you to try toning the groove. You may have to move the gearbox. I didn't do that, and that's why you see what's happened. But two movements of the file behind the skins solved this problem.
The fuel filter with carburetors turned out to be inconvenient to install. And I thought, to make marks according to which we would clearly attach the carburetors to the filter first. And then everything else to the engine. A close small hose, maybe it's some kind of sensor. I don't quite understand its real purpose. I had to tinker with large hoses. Quite a jewelry job that requires a lot of patience. I would not recommend gluing the gearbox level and kickstarter yet, so it's not to break them at the moment when we attach the engine to the frame next time. But as you can see, I decided to take a chance. We connect what are called knees, but not yet glued to the engine. Perhaps they interfere in the future when reunioning with the frame of the motorcycle. Well, it's done! Congratulations! The first stage is completed! I will be very happy to see how you did it! Especially if someone decided to call off the model as well! I will place all the files on Boosty for a little money! 
put a like, subscribe to the channel, follow the boosting, the other networks if they still exist, tell everyone in the area of your availability what happened here. Mental with this project good luck, or in some other way, it will help me a lot. All links are located in the description, somewhere below the video. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next video. Good luck, my friend!